Umpolung of ketone enolates, by virtue of reversing natural reactivity, enables the development of unprecedented reactions to functionalize carbonyl compounds. The key is the formation of electrophilic enolonium species as a discrete species. A main advantage of methods based on electrophilic enolonium species is that it obviates the need for older multiple step methods, allows the use of commercial starting materials, and is simple to use. We recently had the idea for this method when we were able to characterize the electrophilic enolonium species for the first time. Over the last year, we have developed a series of new reactions based on the two-step protocol presented here. Today we will describe how enolonium species made in the first step can be used in in situ coupling with alcylanes, aromatic compounds, chloride, azide, and azoles. Keep in mind that the implications of this technique extend toward other reactions because the type of nucleophile that may be used is much less restricted than earlier hydrovalent iodine-based methods. Demonstrating the procedure will be Shlomi Arava, a graduate student in our group. In a dry, round-bottomed flask equipped with a septum and a magnetic stir bar, add 1.5 equivalents of Coser's reagent and flush the flask with nitrogen or argon. Add dry dichloromethane to give a formal concentration of 0.234 millimoles per liter. Cool the resulting suspension to minus 78 degrees Celsius using a dry ice acetone bath. Then, add 1.5 equivalents of neat boron trifluoride etherate slowly. Warm the heterogeneous mixture to room temperature.